And Michael Pritzker is here from Pritzker Chiropractic, and we're going to answer some of the questions that I know I have about it. Michael, welcome. Thank you for having and, me. Uh, now, uh, you're, you're, you're young yet. I'm pretty young. Yeah, thank you. but do you have any back pain yourself? Uh, have I, you had? Uh, I, like anyone else, of course, I've had some back pain. I, I'm, I mean, an active lifestyle, so every once in a while I'll experience some injuries. Yeah. So, of course, every once in a while I'll experience some back pain, but I do the right things to make sure that I prevent it, to make sure that the problem doesn't return. Right. And that's really important. Can you, when if you start to feel a little something, can you go into a prevention mode then or is it too late? Uh, sometimes you can, sometimes it's a little okay. bit too late. The main thing is to understand what causes back pain. And there's three things that really can cause back pain. One is weak muscles. If your muscles become weak, you lose that protection in the spine. And essentially what happens, eventually you're going to start to experience back pain and it's a lot easier to have a back injury. All right, now what muscles are we talking about? Obviously some of the back muscles around the back, but stomach muscles too, I assume? Well, of course. Uh, if you've got a six pack, six pack, it's going to be a lot more comfortable and it's going to be a lot more supportive. If you've got that big one keg, that one yeah, pack, yeah. <laughs> it, it's going to be pretty difficult to support that spine. And so, of course, the spinal muscles, the stomach muscles, all of those things are important to maintain a proper structure to prevent back pain. All right, so posture and muscle toning. Posture right, and muscle now. toning. And of course, doing those things that are going to prevent injuries. You've got to maintain an active lifestyle. I've treated thousands of patients, and what we find is the ones that maintain an active lifestyle, their chance of getting back pain are a lot less because they maintain strong structure, the ligaments and the muscles in their back are strong, and that's really important. If you don't like going to the gym, find something that you do like doing. You know, Take a walk every once in a while, do yoga, do Pilates, go hiking. Do different things to make sure that, that your back is healthy and strong. Yeah, that's all good for your cardiovascular, too, and to keep you feeling better and, oh, and looking better and whatever. But now now I know I can hear it right now. I can hear people out there saying, I've already got the pain, now what do I do? Yeah. Fix me, doc. Yeah, absolutely. If you already have the pain, first you've got to find out what's causing it. Three things that, it's, that are going to cause it. One is going to be the disc. If you look at the spinal right. model, there's, there's a number of different things that can happen. This over here is a perfectly normal, healthy spine, normal, healthy disc. If you look at these models over here, this one you can see the disc is degenerating, the bone spurs are starting to fuse together, and that's when you start to experience back pain. So the first is the disc. After the disc is damaged, you're going to start to experience weak muscles in your back. And after that, then the ligaments and the bone itself can become damaged. Uh -huh. So we have what's called a three-step spinal correction process, a three-step spinal correction program that is focused on fixing those three things. The first is the disc. When the disc is damaged, it herniates, it causes leg pain, sciatic pain. Right. So we do advanced spinal decompression therapy. That's step one. That fixes the disc problem. Then we go into step two, and unfortunately, this is where a lot of the doctors drop the ball, is they'll fix the disc and they don't continue on to the other supporting structures. Step two is to rehabilitate the spinal muscles. If we rehabilitate them through strengthening exercises, through proper balance exercises, through proper physiotherapy, then we strengthen the spinal muscles. And of course, the third and final step of the three-step spinal correction program is patient education. We do classes in our office where we regularly educate the patient on proper ergonomics, proper sitting, right. making sure that they use back pillows, making sure that they use common sense things. Like if you're waking up in the morning and you're experiencing back pain, well, think to yourself, maybe it's time to change that mattress that I haven't changed in the past 30 years. So that's yeah, all those things to look into. Yeah. So there's quite a bit. So you go through quite a curriculum here. It, now, it is. When, when they have that sciatica, that pain going down the back of your leg, does that first step really get rid of that pain? That's what pretty, that, pretty soon. That's because what that's, that first step. Get is me still. out of the pain first, then we'll work on the rest. Well, of, of course. Know? I mean, the first yeah. thing you want to do is get out okay. of pain. That's the first step. All right, right here. All right, here's some information. All right. So if you are, you may be a candidate.